Hi, my name is Ted Huntington and welcome to my web page. I definitely encourage you to take a good look at my works here, in particular the product of seven years of research, my four-hour movie Universe Life Science Future, and my most recent book Big Science Secrets and Lies, uh, a book that is very well cited and includes more explanation of the theory and my belief that all matter is made of material particles of light. And the fundamental problem or flaw in concepts like momentum and energy that may presume that matter and motion can convert into each other. Uh, in addition, those looking for comfort and perhaps a little humor and thought provoking material can have a listen to my original music here on this web page and on my YouTube pages. I'm very proud of my movie series, Universe Life Science Future. And I think this movie can serve as a basic 1.0 uh, video for those interested in learning about the basics of evolution and the very basic highlights from the history of science, uh, both of which most people are simply not being shown. For example, how many people knew uh, that theory that all matter is made of light goes back at least to the 1200s, 800 years ago? and the first president of Oxford, Robert Gross test, or that the famous chemist Antoine Lavoisier, the first person to recognize that combustion is a chemical reaction of oxygen, in the 1700s listed the light corpuscle as the smallest element known on his list of all known elements. That all matter is made of material light particles is certainly a logical and reasonable theory to entertain, even the simple process of burning a candle is evidence of this theory, I think. Uh, the way light is emitted from atoms in the candle and surrounding oxygen, and as the candle burns, the candle is made smaller and with less matter, the logical conclusion is that uh, the light emitted was always there in the candle and oxygen and simply escaped. And uh, we ourselves and planets and stars and atoms are material finite bodies, so it seems logical that light would be similar. Uh, so uh, beyond uh, recognizing and rediscovering many basic truths lost to the past, I take one of the uh, first serious looks and examinations of the future of life of Earth. Imagine in 100 years looking up over a highway and seeing uh, row after row of flying cars uh, and farther in the future, when people are buying and selling single-family ships located in cities of ships that orbit the Earth, uh, and uh, in cities on the Moon and on planet Mars. Uh, finally, Universe Life Science Future is the first movie I am aware of that puts forward the theory that the future of our species is to go to other stars and to use gravity and propulsion to pull those stars closer together uh, and that this likely truth strongly supports and strongly suggests that all clusters of stars are most likely deliberately assembled by living objects more adapted to survival than we are. Uh, Universe Life Science Future is also the first movie to theorize that the evolution of galaxies is from nebula to spiral to elliptical and then to globular, uh, and that globular galaxies, like fish in the sea, most likely prey upon other smaller galaxies to consume and integrate their matter in order to replace the constant stream of light particles that every body is constantly emitting. Beyond Universe Life Science Future, definitely take a good look at my book, Big Science, Secrets, and Lies and the evidence I present in there. This book reveals many more fascinating and shocking, gigantic, popular, but most likely mistaken beliefs, uh, many of which do not appear in the Universe Life Science Future movie yet, uh, where evolution, history of science, and the future, uh, I'm sorry, where Universe Life Science Future is a conservative telling of the basic highlights of evolution, history of science, and the future, Big Science Secrets and Lies just goes directly to the most interesting and controversial topics that have been uncovered through much of this research.
that went into the making of Universe Life Science Future. Uh, I think most people can agree that this book gives some pretty strong and convincing evidence against many popular beliefs and theories of today. Uh, one important theory, uh, one important example is the 1936 Milton Humason photo that is supposed to be evidence for the uh, theory that the universe is expanding. Um, take a look at that photo. It's ridiculous. Um, it's obvious that the spectra are different sizes. Um, how about the truth about George Fitzgerald? How many people have ever heard of George Fitzgerald? Uh, probably almost nobody. <laughs> but in 1895, George Fitzgerald published a little paragraph in the famous science journal Nature, uh, putting forward a bizarre and very unlikely desperate explanation for the famous Albert Michelson experiment that showed in 1881 and then later in 1887 that the speed of light is the same in two directions, 90 degrees apart uh, uh, from each other and horizontal to the surface of the Earth. Um, which would uh, not be the case if there was an ether medium for light. Uh, so, and this also, this theory cast doubt about the wave or undulatory theory of light and the ether medium that's needed for that theory, uh, which at the time was the more popular theory uh, for light and even now is still the uh, reigning theory for light. Uh, for example, the Encyclopedia Britannica defines light still as Maxwell did, as an electromagnetic wave. Uh, Fitzgerald explained Michelson's result by uh, theorizing that space itself contracts just enough to make light appear to move the same speed in both directions. Uh, how many people knew that Albert Michelson and many others, including the brilliant inventor Nikola Tesla and astronomer astronomer William Pickering, if I get my neurons for just a minute, <laughs> and the astronomer William Pickering doubted this outlandish explanation, uh, and that this very unlikely theory is a critical and necessary component of Einstein's theory of relativity, theories of relativity. Einstein's theories of relativity depend on Fitzgerald's theories, a theory of space contraction and dilation. Uh, another important example, and first in this book, at least as far as I am aware, is uh, the theory that antimatter is actually matter. Uh, and the explanation I give is that when matter and so-called antimatter are collided, they do not disappear into empty space, as sometimes is thought. But all matter is conserved and emitted as light particles and other material fragments. Um, a better name instead of antimatter is perhaps just simply electrically opposite matter or maybe oppy matter, right? Uh, similarly, Big Science Secrets and Lies puts forward the theory that all known light phenomena are most likely the product of particle collision, that diffraction, interference, polarization, and refraction uh, are probably all the products of light particle reflection. For example, polarization is probably more accurately called planarization, where light particles are changing direction based on their reflection off of material walls inside crystals. I also lay out evidence that calls into question the popular explanation of most of many famous violent crimes. Um, for example, the evidence that the collapse of the World Trade Center buildings with the people still inside in the mass murder of 9-11-2001 was not a gravitational collapse, uh, as is believed and claimed by many, uh, but was most likely the result of deliberate controlled demolition. Uh, the evidence that Thane Caesar was the actual murderer of Robert Kennedy and that JFK was most likely shot uh, by someone other than Lee Oswald uh, from the front. Uh, beyond the big physical science and violent criminal science lies <laughs> and mistaken beliefs, my book also talks about um, many great social science truths, uh, including the importance of making our primary focus the stopping of violence, uh, of tolerating the nonviolent free flow of all information, of upgrading our representative government to a fully democratic government, 
uh, where we vote directly over the INET uh, on all government decisions we are subjected to, uh, in addition to the ethics, value, and logic of decriminalizing recreational drugs and consensual adult prostitution. In addition, I give arguments in support of a meat-free diet, ending unconsensual treatments in the psychiatric hospitals, allowing people to quit the military without imprisonment, and in favor of gender, racial, and sexual equality, variety, and education. And finally, I encourage you to take a good look at my other webpage, d2bw.org. Uh, which talks about the future of very interesting and important technologies like micro and nanometer scale cameras uh, and what I'm calling the science and technology of remote neuron reading and writing and also direct to brain windows uh, technology that may someday very soon allow people to capture images uh, and sounds of thought uh, and even send images and sounds directly to a brain and or directly to eyes and ears. Uh, with this kind of technology, remote neuron reading and writing technology, uh, cell phones and headphones uh, may not even be needed. Uh, it's pretty amazing. You should realize how important and ancient uh, the science of remote neuron writing actually is. Many people don't know this. Uh, how many people have ever heard of Luigi Galvani? Uh, probably not a lot. Uh, Luigi Galvani was a person who, uh, in 1791, showed how by connecting a small scalpel to a frog leg nerve and then creating a spark at a distant, unconnected spark generator, the frog leg muscle could be made to contract. Um, now imagine that metal scalpel is a microchip uh, and is a thousand times smaller and smarter. Smaller and smarter than even a modern RFID chip, which is about the size of a grain of salt. Uh, you can see how that technology could be used to tremendously help life on Earth, uh, but also how it could be terribly abused uh, to be a very dangerous weapon in the wrong hands. Uh, for example, if used to hold an innocent person's lung muscles uh, to prevent them from being able to breathe, <laughs> um, a murder that used such technology would be very difficult to detect in an autopsy. Uh, so this science of remote neuron reading and writing, which I think is fascinating, uh, and if it does get realized publicly, which seems to me inevitable um, in the near future, uh, will certainly uh, revolutionize and make much faster and more effortless the way people and even the other species communicate with each other. For example, we will not have to use our voice muscles uh, nearly as much uh, to make our thoughts known uh, Surprisingly, there is a lot of evidence that this technology may have already existed, uh, have been invented, and then long ago in the past, um, uh, maybe even centuries ago, as shocking and, and crazy as that may sound. Uh, for example, take a look a few video squares over, <laughs> right, uh, at the uh, clip, movie clip uh, from the 1967 movie, The President's Analyst how the uh, phone company robot pretty clearly describes this kind of remote neuron reading and writing thought call technology. Um, and that was made before many of us were even born. Uh, or look at Hugo Gernsbach's uh, 1911 uh, description of a menograph, a device uh, that could record, uh, you know, can record and play back the sounds of thought. Uh, that was over a hundred years ago, even before World War I and II, uh, so a long time ago. Um, if interested in more of that potential secret history, take a look at the timeline I assembled uh, on the d2bw.org.page. But definitely just saying also in the Universe Life Science Future is really a great 101 uh, movie to look at, and I kind of... Uh, didn't mention a lot of the basics of evolution there uh, that I uncovered, that perhaps the ribosome came before the cell, 
uh, evolper for the cell, uh, that also um, that ovum and sperm may look very, very similar to what our most distant great, 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 great grandmother and grandfather may have looked like. Those ancient, our ancestral protozoans long before the development of the nervous and muscular and skeletal and uh, circulatory systems and uh, all those systems evolved that's what our great great ancestors may look like is the that ovum and sperm uh you know tiny little single cellular eukaryote cells one with a flagellum right you know um that's an amazing truth that universal life science future talks about but we see nowhere else and i mean i think it's a pretty profound or it's also in the book big science lies and secret Secrets that and many other uh, interesting stories, like when did our ancestors lose the tail? A very interesting story, or um, you know, when did uh, all the mammals of the sea evolve? It turns out only 65 million years ago, after the last great extinction, around the same time the first primates evolved. That whales and dolphins and so on are really only as ancient as uh, as we primates. Very recent, um, just an incredible the basics of evolution. Where are they? Why have we not uh, heard these things that, uh, you know, um, many of the big trees we see are really angiosperms. They're giant Jurassic flowering plants, <laughs> you know, most of them, except the evergreens, right? Um, or the conifers and so on, the gymnosperms. Um, the vast majority, if it's not a gymnosperm, we're looking at uh, a big giant flower, <laughs> right, you know. So uh, those are some important truths of evolution that I definitely encourage you to take a look at. Uh, so many of us have been tricked, whether by the ancient lies and mistaken beliefs of the religions, that goddesses and gods with human attributes watch over us, that Moses parted the sea, that Noah built an ark, uh, that Santa flies with a sled in a sled, um, that spirits, ghosts, angels, and souls exist, um, and tricked by supernatural and superstitious claims of lucky or unlucky numbers, black cats, horoscopes, psychics, and other annoying, far-fetched, unlikely claims, uh, or by the many violent crime lies like the single bullet theory of the JFK murder and the 19 hijackers theory of the 9-11 mass murder, and tricked by the big science lies of space and time contraction and dilation, the theory that all matter is not made of light and that light is not made of material particles, the theories of relativity in the expanding universe, black holes and background radiation theories. There are many heroes and many, villain, many villains to learn about, and I think as time continues, we will all get to see and know more and more about all of them. There is far too much information to explain here in a 10-minute video, so I definitely encourage you, as a good starting point, to uh, take a look at my movie, Universe Life Science Future, my book, Big Science, Secrets and Lies, and webpage, d2bw.org. Thanks.